Hello everybody, welcome back, where to today we are going to be remaking uh, my most popular video How to install mods, add money and unzip mods in FS19 Now this will be a lot clearer than this video It's just going to be a lot better I'm surprised it got 2000 views, that still amazes me to that this day But, we are here Now, I would, I'm going to use all the things which I recommend So, let's go on um, so, I'm going to search, what shall I search, we're going to search Mod Network, as that is the best mod site, I believe. Yes, I meant Mod Network, not whatever that was. But we're going to click on that. Now, I, you do get a bit confused, well, I did. Um, so, you can get mods here, on, you can get mods for SnowRunner, Euro Truck Simulator 2, and Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, but when I first got to this website, I was like... Where do, well, hold on, hold on, how does this work? Where do I click and find FS9 mods? Because I didn't, I thought these were just icons to say what they actually do on this thing. And I was like, okay, that's cool, they do FS19. So I scrolled down because I saw that the squad recommended him. But yeah, this is a website recommended by the squad, Dagwin, and a few other um, bigger um, farm sim YouTubers, which is very good. Um, so I'd definitely recommend using it. But we're going to scroll down here. And I was like, hmm, is this where I find the mods? And I went into here and I was like, there's only one mod, this is a rubbish website, why have I been recommended this? And then I, eventually, after about a month of trying to figure out, I was clicking on all of this, I was like, okay, I found some things here, but I don't know. And then I realised, oh wait, I could click this symbol, and I feel stupid for saying that now, but that's what I thought. Anyway, we're going to scroll through here, now I already know what mod I'm getting, but you can basically click, you can click download here if you just want to get it quickly to check it out. So you can click download here, the nice pink massive button there. But we're going to scroll along a few pages. Um, and what we're going to do is, I believe it's on page 5. Please be on page 5. Oh no, it isn't. Just just great. But we're going to keep on going along and I believe it's on the next page. It should be... Yep. So, I'm going to download the Vermeer um, S450TX. So, we've got it here. Looks very good. I would always suggest um, checking the pictures down here. Oh, look, it's strappable. That's very good. And it can tow things. That's very cool. But we're going to look at these. I'm just going to check them. I definitely recommend reading some of them. Uh, that's not... Um, yeah, there was a, a, a bad word there. <laughs> it was penis, but oh well. we're going to ignore that. Um, you're mad? That's just... Okay. Okay, so that's... Um, you're going to read the description and stuff. I've already read it because I've already done this. I've done this video about two times now, but I will. We're going to click the big pink button for download. Okay, um, so I need to speed things up because I just realised the time. But we're going to go here, we're going to go show in folder. We're going to go cut if you're trying to save space. But if you want a copy of it, you press copy and you can put that in another folder or something. Um, but I'd also, I would always just suggest to press cut. But my computer is a bit different. I have an a SSD drive, which is where I put all of my FS19 mods, so I have enough space. Now... Usually, you'd go into the My Games folder. If you don't have one, then look at the internet, because that's the best place where things are. So, yep, you'd click um, My Games, and you'd then go um, into Farming Simulator 19. Hopefully, it's there. Uh, you click double-click on that, and it's not the... Um, what's it called? It's not going to be the FS19 that looks like this with the little thing. That will just launch the game. You're looking for the just FS19 which would be in the My Games folder. You're going to click on that and your mods folder should be in there. If it isn't, look at the internet. And that's how that works. Anyway, next up I'm going to show you how to unzip mods. So we're going to go into this folder here and scroll all the way down like that. Um, we're going to look in here. Nope, that's not the right folder. Is it in this folder? Ah, oh, I've been a Muppet, I'm pretty sure. I deleted the um, thing in the last video. That's, that's, that's good. That's very good. So, um, what we're going to do, we're going to imagine I've got a... No. So, we're not going to go in that bit one. But let's look for a unzip. So, let's just go un unzip me. Here we go. So, we're going to take this. We're going to go copy, because I don't want to ruin something. And then I'm just going to... There we go. Just close that there. So I'm going to scroll all the way down again. You or you'd have to make a folder which is basically new and then folder. So we're going to actually do that. And I'm just going to name this unzip or unip because I can't type. Um, so we're going to go paste. Uh, we're going to go extract here. Okay, here extract here. Not files. Not open with WinRAR. Here. It's going to come out. Here we go. 
And now we're going to take these three things here, not the unzip me folder, not the text document me folder, and we're going to go cut. Then we're going to click the back arrow right up here, and we're going to go paste. Now I've already got these, so I'm just going to skip these files, but usually it will just paste them, and that's it. And then we go to the unzip folder, and we clean it out. So we literally just go like that, boom, it's all clean, and now we're going to move on how to add money. So, the way we do that is we don't actually need to, um, to do the way the things we used to do where we like add money because we've got easy development mod easy uh, development mod fs19 so we're going to click on it it's on the in-game mod hub you're going to get this because this is the best thing ever especially for videos you can add money you can set the daytime you can make it so that the daytime it's going like 2000 miles per hour you can add bales in you yeah extra time scale you can make it go 2000 you can um fly you can turn your hud off which is the speed cat the speed um ometer and stuff you can do all sorts and it's just amazing i love this you can make yourself walk really fast you can fly with this you can have super strength um we can go along here you can do stuff with the field i'm not going to talk about that because i had bad experience with that because i'm rubbish at it uh you can even fill things with wheat you can adjust dirt you can add wear you can set motor temperature which i don't know what that does but it's a, it's the mod you need to get. Um, anyway, I believe that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I did hope you enjoyed. I hope you found this very informative. I hope you're going to use Mod Network. It is a good mod site. It is trusted. It is the one that you should be using. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you again very, very, very soon. Hopefully, hit the like button if you want. Hit the subscribe button if you want. And maybe even just comment. Have a great day. You can do them if you want. See you again very, very, very soon. Bye for now.